This is a 1912 Naval Observatory pocket watch. Cool. Made by Lawn Jeans. My dad said he wanted in a poker game. OK. We actually get that a lot around here. <laughs> it's inscribed Navy on the back. I'm assuming with the box that it's in that it was probably made to be mounted to the nightstand of a ship. Hoping to get about 5,000, but I would probably settle for 2,000. Nice. Longines have the oldest registered trademark of a watch logo in the world. That says a lot. Sure. They built the timing mechanism for gymnastics in 1912. OK. And they did such a good job of it that they used them for a bunch of years in the Olympics and stuff like that. Now, if you think about the Navy, time of day is sure. really important. <laughs> sure. The US Naval Observatory is pretty badass. They're responsible for the positioning, navigation, and timing for the whole US military. So any watch they issue would be pretty awesome. So tell me, what do you know about the watch itself? Uh, really, I don't know too much about it, other than it's never been mounted, never been refinished, okay. polished. It's all original. Okay. The research I've done, it's uh, designed to be mounted down to a nightstand of a captain or first mate. OK, uh, you see the 800 right there, 0. 0.8000? Yes. That means this watch is 80% silver. Nice. Which would make sense for it being a Navy watch, because silver doesn't really rust. OK. Now, how much are you looking to get out of it? $5,000. $5,000. With the boxes, yeah. We're a little high. I have to tell you, um, the boxes definitely make it cool. Yep. But I'm going to have to make the assumption, though, that this watch was a marketing play. I mean, anything that time was really important to, Longines wanted to stamp their name on. If it was a Navy watch, it'd be a lot more intricate. It has a wind indicator, and it has a second hand. The railroad watches were more intricate than this. You think so? Absolutely. The Navy would need something a little bit more advanced than that. I'd offer you 2,500 bucks for it. It's a little light. I, 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 I could do 3,500. As time goes on, this name is getting more and more forgotten with the worse and worse stuff they put out. I'll go 3,000 bucks on it. That's the best I can do. It, it really is. I can do three grand. Three grand? Yeah. All right, deal. All right, cool. Um, why don't you leave it here, and uh, I'll meet you over there, write it up. All right. I don't know if it was some marketing ploy, but he knows more than I do about a watch. So I think it was a fair price. Hopefully, we can do some good with that.